in this lab of dropping a plastic object with masses connected to it into water and measuring the lowest height of the object, we have this data here. The mass of the object measured with digital scale has a certainty of plus or minus 0.01 grams. The lowest height of the object, I could just estimate with uncertainty of 0.4 centimeters, and that's realistic and reasonable. I can go one step further if desired and find the actual uncertainty based on my measurements. This can also help me analyze my data a bit more. So I'm going to add a column to the right. I'm going to call this the uncertainty in lowest height. And that will be certain H measured in centimeters. And I'm just going to merge those. Okay. To do this, the average is the medium value. 49.1 is the highest value, 48.2 is the lowest value, and these give you the range of uncertainty, the range of the values. The average is in the middle, so if you take the middle plus the highest, or the middle minus the smallest, that is our uncertainty. We need to find the range and divide it by 2. I could take my calculator and carefully look at each one. Instead, I'm going to use a function. I'm going to press equals. Then type max for maximum, then open bracket, and it'll automatically select the maximum value of that. As an example, there you go, 49.1. But what we're really going to do is say equals max of this, close brackets, minus the minimum of these same things, B3 colon D3, close brackets. And then I'm going to go divide by 2. But I have to make sure I add in some big brackets for the stuff on top. Enter 0 0.45, and I fail down. Uncertainty should generally only have um, one significant figure. So I'm going to take down the number of decimal places. To one. Now this has a few uh, cool things for me. You can see 0.4 is what I estimated, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 2 a bit high, 1.1, 3.3, very high. So now seeing this huge value here, I can look over my data and say, oh my goodness, this value doesn't match the other ones. And it's really bringing the average down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this cell in yellow and I already had this point here I'm not going to use that value in the average because I think it's an outlier so I'm going to change the formula for this one it's going to be the only the average of B9 to C9 let me just make that smaller B9 to C9. Now my average is 32.6. Also for my value of these guys, I have to change this. B9 to C9. Try that again. B9 to C, B9 colon C9, and similarly over here, B9 colon C9, and it brings down that uncertainty to close to the other ones. This will help me in my evaluation where it asks me to identify any anonymous raw data. Well, a huge uncertainty. That is a piece of raw data that's anonymous and I critically thought and decided not to use it. We can go one step further and add this
column into a graph in Logger Pro. So we load up Logger Pro. I'll just do this again so you can see it. And we're going to have our mass of objects. Mass of objects, shortening and units grams. We're going to have here lowest height of objects. H and units for centimeters. Now I make this a bit smaller. Okay, a little bit bigger. Our uncertainty in mass, we measure these with a digital scale, so they were 0 0.01 grams. So I've, we've done this before, double click, we go to options, air bar, and 0 0.01 grams. And there's little teeny tiny air bars that are quite small and insignificant. That also helps in our evaluation. Seeing the uncertainty in mass is quite low and not significant. Now, we could say it's completely acceptable to say, ah, uh, I estimate 0.4 and the data kind of shows 0.4 is reasonable. I could do here 0 0.4 and I get those air bars. Instead of that, turn it off for now. Instead of that, I'm going to go data, new manual column. I'm going to call this uncertainty in height. And I'm going to do delta H. So I can go here, Greek lower delta symbol. Oops, that's lambda. Greek lower. Ah, Greek upper delta symbol. Uncertainty in H, and again, our units are centimeters. And I'm going to paste in this column here. And nothing happened. I need to tell the graph that for H, for uncertainty, instead of using the point fours, we're going to use uncertainty in height, the new column that I added there done and we can see that some of these are larger this guy was a tiny one that we fixed with 0 0.4 there from that might be a linear line and that last data point doesn't really match so I'm going to choose something like that is it a reasonable linear fix, I'm not going to include that guy. He's an outlier perhaps, and I'll discuss that in my evaluation. Again, make sure you copy and paste your graph. Do not snip or take a screenshot. Have a real copy and paste.